I really enjoy making cyanotypes, but it can be difficult to get a consistent exposure in the winter or to work in the evening. Artificial UV light sources are pretty expensive, so I decided to make my own. I found this portable tanning light on eBay for about $30. To make it work, the lights needed to be face down and suspended about 12 inches above my print, and it ended up being pretty easy. I took some wood scraps and lined them up on each side, allowing a few inches to stick out on either side. A little bit of painter's tape helped to keep them from sliding around. You'll want both sides to be about the same. Now all you have to do is suspend the light. I'm using an old apple box I got from a produce market. It's good to have some extra space around the edge for ventilation and for sliding your print frame into the box. This unit has a timer built in, but it might not be very accurate. You can plug the whole thing into a darkroom timer or just time it manually. When you make your exposure, turn it on and walk away. It's very important not to look at the light because ultraviolet light can damage your eyes. For safety, you can put the unit in a cupboard or in a closet and run the timer from the outside. The exposure time will vary depending on the distance from the light to the paper and the density of your negative. For this print, I use 12 minutes. The print will change a lot during development and drying, so be sure to fully oxidize and dry your print before you judge how well this technique works. Enjoy your printing!